Nice, I bet. What a great song there. You feel the fire taken from an Irish group, the Galaxy. And I'm delighted now to be joined on the line with Mick, who's uh, uh, one of the great people behind the band on uh, guitar and synth. How are you doing, Mick? I'm very good. Thank you very much. I was glad l- you, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Have you, uh, the song. Have you seen the video? I haven't, no. No, well, uh, YouTube it if you can. Um, it, it, it will not be the video you expected, put it that way. Cool. When I heard yeah. this song, I must have gotten hold of it about three months ago or so. I actually couldn't believe it was from an Irish group, which is really good. It's a very universal tune, but it's just, it's a great sort of beat moving dance number. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me so much of like Daft Punk and stuff like that. That's great. Well, I mean, one of the things I think when the single came out, um, I think Michelle Doherty, when, when Night Shift was actually on, um, she says that that was, that was from the Galaxy and they're Irish, if you can believe that. Which was, which I thought was a great compliment. I, don't, I mean, I know nothing against, you know, whatever, whatever you expect from an Irish band. But in a sense, it was kind of like, you know, she was surprised as well. So it's actually kind of a compliment to us, you know. I suppose it's unusual that it's taken this long for Irish groups to get involved in what I suppose is huge in mainland Europe and Daft Punk being from France and stuff would yeah. have been big with it as well. But when it's done right, which you have done, it works really well. Yeah, well, I mean, we'd, li- we'd like to think it's, it's not like sh- shoehorned in there, you know? It's not, it's not like we're just throwing electronics because it seems to be quite in vogue now. It actually is genuinely, it, I mean, and it actually comes to see us. But we are a live band to make, making that music, you know? It's not, it's not just kind of four guys with laptops. There is, there is uh, live drums and there's guitars and stuff. So, I mean, it, 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 for, for us, it's kind of... Yeah, it is. It, it, it was a natural. It, it's a natural thing, you know. We listen to that. We listen to dance music, but we have, we have to be musicians making dance music. And for those seeing you live, then visually, how do you come across on stage? Every gig is different, especially with with, with how crazy things can get. <laughs> but uh, if la- the last gig is anything to go by, which will be last Friday, visually, I can't say there was much like visual as in visuals going on. But by the end, you'd have every, uh, the band would be in, in the crowd, and I wouldn't say I think a girl, a, a woman had our bass player up on her shoulders. So that's it. That's any use. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Nice. laughs> Yeah, and, and I don't know how she managed it, but um, yeah, this woman, she did. She managed to lift him up on her shoulders as he was still playing bass for You Feel the Fire, believe it or not. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it can, it can get kind of crazy. We're, we, we have a lot of energy live. We just, we, we just, it, it's a big release for us because we, we love doing it so much, you know? Excellent. Yeah, you certainly have a good reputation already for, uh, you know, being very entertaining uh, <laughs> as a group, which is always important. There's nothing worse than hearing a great song and then seeing the band play it, but it just yeah, sounds I mean, like I, a radio I, recording. Yeah, well, I, I, recently I went, I went to see uh, Lady Hawk, and, and, and I love the album, you know. And um, I was horribly disappointed by, this, this, that, what, by what, I, what, I, what I ended up coming to see, which was basically the album being played yeah. by people who were barely, I, I swear to God, they were barely even tapping their feet. Like, they, they, they were just, <laughs> they were just there with, with their haircuts and their guitars, and that was it, like, you know. Tell us a bit about yourselves. <clears throat> we used to be a band called 66E, and we, at, at the time we kind of, made quite not, I wouldn't say serious but it was quite we, it was quite uh, atmospheric kind of music and we had we had a, a degree of success we played auction and stuff but um, our singer then decided to call it a day and we had like six months where we were, we were going to continue on the band and we were all looking for we auditioned singers but while we were, do, we were doing that very very organically we just started making kind of more up-tempo stuff than we had before and further it went on closer to the summer we're like well why don't we just go and play these songs I mean there's no there's no words there will be but there's uh, uh, no words at the moment so we got out we got out there just start playing and then to be honest yeah it, 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 it developed from there and are you from Dublin? three quarters of us are from Dublin and one of us is Scottish our drummer is Scottish but uh, no I mean we're certainly all I mean we're not just people who rehearse with each other we, we've known each other and hung around each other for quite a long time you know What's life like travelling on the road these days? Um, it's okay. It's okay once you can stay at a hospital, which unfortunately I ended up. <laughs> we were, last time we were uh, last year we were playing Galway in May uh, with Disconnect Four, and um, yeah, as long, as long as you make it to, make it to the Roisin Dove to play your gig and not end up in hospital, I think that's pretty much all I can ask for, really. Go on, you have to reveal more of what happens. Oh, I don't know. No, this guy was just really, really ill. He just had like a, a, a mystery illness that kind of incapacitated me for some reason in, in the back in the back of our in the back of our high ace van and uh, yeah the lads weren't too happy they were like get, get him to A&E and we'll go get drunk 
<laughs> so I spent the night. I think actually, if you're on our MySpace and you, and you look at the uh, the photos of our tour, there is one photo of just me lying on a gurney, kind of saying, "Well, this is the Galway gig. It was great fun, you know." So, are you going to write any uh, future songs about our health system? Oh uh, yeah, well, yeah, oh, well maybe, maybe it was the Galway air. Maybe it was something that reacted badly to the, the galaxy. <laughs> but uh, in, uh, in in fairness, though, um, the road shield and that has been amazing to us over the years. So, and we're looking forward to Friday, you know. Yeah, you're coming back to this Friday, and you're supporting the J. It's going to be great fun, I'd say. I think so, yeah, yeah. It's kind of the ideal band to support, really, you know, because he's got, he's got great energy and stuff. And, uh, you know, I've been to a lot of his shows, and it's, yeah, it's perfect. I mean, to kind of do ourselves an injustice, but it, we, we will be, it would be great, a warm-up act for him, you know, because um, we are about kind of getting the crowd going and actually kind of heating things up, you know. Yeah, it should be, it should be good fun. I'm going to have our EP with us on sale and stuff like that. So if anybody wants to get that, they, they can approach us. We're nice guys, even though we might, we, we, we might look quite abrasive when we're up on stage, we are actually genuinely nice people. <laughs> <laughs> Trans World is your new EP you just released it, is, it there yeah. a couple of weeks ago there's no real lyrics in this so um, is there a way of describing what the song is about it is, it is a song of two halves you know like in One More Time from Daft Punk uh, there's yeah. kind of a, a breakdown in the middle that actually goes on for longer than you actually expect but it, it, it does nothing but serve as the fact that when it comes back in it's going to sound even better than you thought it would before Yeah. so I kind of have that thing where it's a song of two parts but no for us it was just kind of a uh, it was just kind of trying to make it not not be, not in a cheesy way, but kind of make it an anthem where people could shout back the lyrics "Trans World" to us. You know, Class. we are big into our science fiction, so we had this idea of you know like machines and planets, and we just kind of decided to make it our own little story out of it. You know what I mean? Excellent, I like it. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm not too. I'm, I'm avoiding telling, telling you a lot of that because I don't want to sound pretentious. But you know, we do. We 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 are mad into our science fiction, so "Trans World" and everything is a reference to something. You know, movie-wise, right? Star yeah. Trek. Uh, the new movie is out at the moment. Uh, yeah. Sci-fi fans as well, uh, kind of different reaction there over the whole ending of, I don't know if you've seen it, the Anna, Anna Jones, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull movie. Oh, God, yeah, yeah, I did. Not uh, good. No, but I thought, I thought the new Star Trek was amazing, to be honest. And you're, you're talking to a lifelong, you're talking to someone who went to Star Trek conventions in, in Ireland when he was in his, teen, in his teenage years, you know? Class. <laughs> you know, I didn't dress up because I, thought, I, thought, I did think I was cooler than that, but uh, apparently I, I was still attending these things. Um, but no, it, it, it's an amazing. No, Indiana Jones um, made me cry. It was so. It, it was. It, it just betrayed everything I thought about my childhood. Yeah. Made, made me question who I was. But uh, not a static movie is, is amazing. I thought it was fantastic. Excellent for fair play. Great to get to know you tonight, Megan. Thanks a million for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thanks a million, and, and hopefully we'll see, we'll see a, a few of you, of you guys at, uh, on Friday with Jeep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I'll be heading down myself anyways, because thankfully I'm off Friday night. That's uh, Mick Pope there joining us from the band Le Galaxy. I've been playing them for the last few weeks here around the radio station, and everyone really is loving the tunes. You feel the fire. I absolutely love that. Uh, but they do have a new uh, EP out. It's called Trans World, and they're playing in the Roshin Dove this Friday. Get down there at around 9 o'clock. It is guaranteed to be a great night of entertainment and taking us out here here is the new track from the galaxy trans world